All right, let's do a few warm ups and maybe a gentle practice today since uh, everybody's got things going on. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread those toes out, get a good base of support, sitting bones down, core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, arms relaxed, crown to the ceiling. Just take a few moments getting that inner yoga perspective and just do what's right for your body today. And then inhaling, bring those arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch out to the front, keep your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you and clasp the fingers. Lift your heart, stretch your whole body, and then pivot at your hips, exhale and come on over. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward your legs. Move your neck around. Make sure that it's just releasing and relaxing. Spread your toes, chin tucked in, knees slightly bent as you wind your way back up and lift your heart. Shoulders down, open through the front of your body. Stretch your head back and don't forget to breathe. And then on an inhalation, come on up. Releasing your arms, just take a moment, notice a little more circulation. And then inhaling, arms are reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale your hands behind. Clasp the other way with the other finger outside as you lift your heart and stretch across the chest. Exhale, pivot over. Let that lower back begin releasing and relaxing a little bit more. And then knees bent, chin in, work your way up and lift your heart. Shoulders down. Just take a moment to breathe in that back bend, lifting your heart. And again, inhale upright, release your arms. And again, focus inward for that observation. And we'll do our side stretches, so arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp them and bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch with your body straight to the front and no twisting, just lean over to the side, feel that rib area expand as you lean away from it, and the other side contract. Push out through your hands and down into the foot you're leaning away from for a little extra stretch. And then inhale back to the center. Keep your shoulders down as you switch your arms. And again, bring your arms near your ears. Stretch, keep straight, and lean to the other side. And again, maximize that side, noticing how your body is moving and feeling. And inhale and come back upright and release back to mountain pose. Notice your whole spine more activated and we'll do our twists. So remember, really stretch the spine apart. Arms at shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows and stretch your spine. Exhale for your twist to one side and lengthen up again. Exhale over in the twist and relax. Just take a few breaths there. Tension out, kind of lift the sitting bones. Keep your arms next to your ears and slowly work your way up. Lift your heart, shoulders down, elbows back, and just allow your body into that upper body back bend only as much as feels okay for your back. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen and breathe and exhale, turning to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. So just in your twist, notice whether you've got the weight on both feet evenly. See if you can do that. And then staying in your twist, inhale your weight slowly up when you're ready. And into that upper body for the back bend, shoulders down, elbows back, chest high. Remember, gentle on your low back. 
Don't overdo it when you're twisting. And then inhale and come to the top. Exhale around to the center. Arms up, extended mat, and keep those shoulders down. Let's swan dive forward. So chest and chin lead, come parallel to the floor and stretch things out. And then just drop into ragdoll. Take a moment and breathe. Pull in a little more if you want. Hands behind your legs or not. And then <clears throat> arms back to the front, hanging as you wind your way slowly up. One more time, shoulders back and down. And coming into mountain pose, just feel that circulation as we've activated our spine, all six directions. Take a moment to breathe. Bring your arms out to shoulder level. Turn the palms up and just a little circle with those arms straight, shoulders down, sitting bones down, core active, supporting your spine. Reach your head up and then small circles and stop. Turn your palms down and circle back. Keep reaching out through your fingertips, up through the ground. And again, small circles until you stop and stretch. And then push to one side, keeping your hips above your ankles. And again, side stretch a little bit extra. And back to the center and on the other side. And to the center and release. Feel all that circulation through your arms and shoulders. And then bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling. Bend your arms up, goddess position. Pull those elbows back just a little bit. Feel that part opening. And then drop your elbows down toward your sides a little. And then back up to shoulder level. Straighten your arms, palms toward the floor, and release. And again, just feel the shoulders. Take a moment and breathe. And then just a little swing side to side with your knees slightly bent, getting a little more twist to your spine this morning, seeing how that's working. Keep the head reaching up, sitting bones down. And just follow your hands from one side to the other. Only as far as your body wants to go today. And then back to the center. Feel a little more circulation there. And then support your back with your hands. Remember, heel of the palm about your shoulder blade level, fingertips down toward your hips. Pull your elbows toward each other again, open across the heart. Rotate your face to look up and push your head slightly back while you keep pulling those elbows together. And again, feel that upper body open across the heart. And then chin toward your chest, inhaling, coming back up. Release your arms. Hands to your heart, looking at your fingers. Inhale, bringing them up. Pull the thumbs back, keep looking. A little upper body back then. Exhale, hands following to your heart and all the way to the floor. Take a moment just in ragdoll, hang and relax. Let those arms be wherever they fall. Slide your hands up under your knees, straighten and stretch, tuck your chin back in. And again, shoulder blades and sitting bones back and crown forward. And exhale back down, palms together, knees slightly bent, working your way back all the way up. And again, extend to the ceiling, a little upper body back bend with those thumbs coming behind you. Exhale, hands to your heart, and release to mountain. Feel your spine just gently warmed up. And then inhaling, let's bring our arms up and swan dive and come all the way to the floor into child's pose. So hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a moment in child's pose for our transition. 
just release and relax. Feel that good stretch all along the back of your head. And then inhaling, sit up, bring your hands out in front, and come all the way down onto your belly. Head to one side, hands, palms up, shoulders down, rest in crocodile. After a few breaths to one side, turn your head to the other side. And again, just breathe and relax. Keep those shoulders reaching down toward the floor. Feet hip width apart, just relax the lower body. Now we're going to bring the forehead to the floor. Cross your arms across your lower back. Just clasp them. And then inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck your chin back toward your chest. Focus on the heart forward and up. Just feel that spine going, supporting you as high toward the ceiling with the crown as you like. Bottom ribs stay on the floor. You can bring your upper body closer to the floor if you need to. And then exhaling, forehead back toward the floor. And then this time we're going to do the same thing, just slightly different. We're going to add the legs. So inhaling, face forward, crown up, chin back toward your chest. And again, come only as high into that as you feel is okay for your back. Feet hip width apart, stretch them back through the base of the toes, and then lift the feet off the floor just a little bit. So both feet up, heart focused forward and up, shoulder, shoulder blades down your spine toward your waist. And sitting bones are reaching back toward your toes. And then lowering your legs, take a breath and exhale the upper body down. As you get your forehead on the floor, bring your hands under your shoulders and go ahead and press back into child's pose. So a nice forward bend, winding where we were contracting. Take a few moments there, just breathe and relax. And we're going to do some variations on that. So come again all the way up and down onto your belly into resting crocodile. And again, turn your head from one side to the other, just getting that neck evenly stretching on both sides. Feet hip width apart. And again, forehead to the floor. Bring your arms overhead, shoulder width apart. Feet stay hip width apart. And then inhaling, face to the front, crown up. Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down toward your waist. And then lift your arms just a little bit, or you can bring them up by your ears if you want to. Reach out through the top of your body. And exhale, arms and forehead back to the floor. Take a moment there, just observe how your body is working today. And we're going to do, of course, the same thing, adding the feet. So once more, face to the front, crown up toward the ceiling, tuck that chin back so the back of the neck keeps stretching as well. Chest forward and up and raise those arms as high as you'd like them to go. Reach back through your toes, and again, just lift those feet off the floor just a little bit. So super person, stretch it out, and lengthen. Exhale, feet to the floor, hands down, forehead to the mat. And hands under your shoulders. We're gonna press again back and into our forward bend, child's pose. Just getting that spine really working today. Just gently, however much is right for your body. Remember, if you bring your knees together, you get that lower back stretched more. If you spread your knees apart, you can breathe more easily. Always personal practice your choices. And then again, we're going to go on to our bellies. So come on all the way to the floor and rest in crocodile one more time. 
Take a breath, get those shoulders relaxed, head to one side, turn the head to the opposite side, just relax. And feet hip width apart, forehead to the mat, and arms again along the floor overhead, shoulder width apart. We're going to do something similar to what we did last time, but we're going to add a little arm work. So inhaling, face forward, crown up, tuck that chin back in, chest forward and up, come into that upper body position and raise your arms only as high as you want them to be. You can have your upper body down closer to the floor. It's your choice. And again, we're just going to bend the elbows and bring them back about shoulder level, maybe a little closer towards your waist. And then extend them back forward. Take a breath. Exhale the arms down and the forehead back to the floor. Take a moment, just relax your whole body. And we're going to do that again, adding the feet. So once more, remember, personal practice, just go as far as your body is comfortable going. So starting with the forehead on the floor, inhale, face forward, crown up, tuck that chin back towards your chest, chest forward and up, raise the arms, and again, only as high as you want them to go. Toes reach back through the base of the toes, bring those feet up, only a little bit off the floor, stretch it back, fingertips reaching forward, and then with the palms down toward the floor, bend the elbows, Keep them at that level. Bring the hands back as far as you want them to go. Maybe as far as shoulder level with the hands or just shoulder level with the elbows. And then again, stretch those arms forward and release the hands and the forehead and the legs. When you get back down, hands under your shoulders and press back one more time into child's pose. Take a few breaths there and just relax. Deep breath in, tension out. And then as you inhale, go ahead and sit up on your heels and come into staff position. So bring those legs out in front, press out through the bottoms of your feet, up with the toes and knees toward the ceiling. Sitting bones, remember, a little behind you, maybe propped up if you like that. Shoulders over your hips and shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep the core active, support your spine. Take a moment and breathe. Then we're going to bend one foot into the inner thigh. Let's do the right foot first. And then bend the left knee and bring that heel in near your hip. We're going to dive our dolphin. So stretch up through your spine, get it nice and open. Exhale, turn to that right knee, first knee bent, and we're going to dive. So remember, exhaling, bring those ribs back, tuck in the chin, bring the forehead down toward your knee. And then as you start inhaling, rotate your face up toward the sun and the sky as you breathe in coming up. So it's a nice little forward bend, exhaling down. And a little back bend as you come up. Using your whole breath capacity, so exhaling completely as you go down, and then inhaling as you come up. So only as much or as little as your body wants, as fast or as slow as your breath is guiding you. Breathing in as you come up, and exhaling as you dive under the water. Remember, you're the dolphin. And just rethinking about those playful dolphins at the beach, you can be as energetic or as fluid as you like. And then the next time you're coming up, just pause at the top and exhale, turning back to the center and releasing back into staff position. So as you get back into step, just again, observe your body. Notice all that circulation through the spine, through your whole upper areas of your shoulders as well. And of course, we've got to balance the body with the legs to the other side. So bending the left knee, 
and into your upper thigh, knee out to the side, and then bending your what is that, right knee, heel back near your hip, however far it wants to go. So remember that back hip can be up off the floor. You can pad under it if that's more comfortable. Stretch your spine, exhale, turn to the left knee, first knee bent. And again, we're diving, so exhale, bring those ribs back, tucking the chin, come down, exhaling under the water, and then rotating your face to the front, inhaling as you come up to the sun and the sky. So just take your time. Remembering to focus on how your spine is working as well as your breath. Noticing your body's rounded spine as you go down and the little back bend through the upper back, especially as you come up. Feel your breath. Notice how your lungs are working today. And just allow your dolphin to be as slow or as fast as your breath is wanting to follow. And again, when you're ready on an inhalation up, just pause at the top. And exhale, turning back to the center, releasing into staff position. Take a moment as you get back into staff. Feel your body, notice how it's responding to your work in yoga today. Shoulders back and down, core supporting, and crown reaching up toward the ceiling. So we're gonna do a little twist. So sitting bones a little behind you, go ahead and bend one knee out to the side, and that front knee, again, you can bring it back near your hip or you can leave it extended to the front. Take your opposite hand to that first knee you bent and bring the other arm out at shoulder level. Stretch all the way up through your whole spine. Exhale, follow your hand around behind you. And when it gets as far as you want it to go, bring it to the floor close to you on the mat. So this back hip can be up a little bit so that your whole spine is turning. Hips, ribs, and shoulder, not just your neck. Keep stretching up. Exhaling, deepen your twist only as far as your body wants to go. And then bring your hand back up, follow it back around to the center, and release, and bring your legs back to staff position. And again, feel that twist energy through your spine, and we're going to twist to the other side balancing things as we do in yoga. So again, sitting bones behind you, knee out to the side, then that other knee heel back near you, or keep that leg in front if that's more comfortable. And again, the opposite hand comes to that first knee, other arm out to the front. Stretch for the sitting bones up, exhale, follow that hand as far into the twist as it wants to go. Bring it to the floor close to you, and stretch, keep that spine nice and open for the twist, exhale, and turn. Hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning further into your twist. Personal practice only go as far as you want. Take a breath, just relax into it. And then arm back up, follow it around to the center, release your hands and your legs and come back to step. Take that moment just observing how your spine responds, all that twist energy going through, getting ready to activate for our final relaxation. And we're going to go into one more twist before we finally relax. So go ahead, feet to the end of the mat, and core active as you roll back down onto the floor. Take a moment. Get comfortable, reclined integration there, sinking your whole body. Feet hip width apart. Hands to T position, palms up or down, your choice. We're just gonna do our bent knee twist. So bend your knees, bring those heel, uh, sitting bones towards your heels and then the heels in towards your sitting bones. Press the back down, feet up off the floor, knees right above your hips. Roll the knees to one side, 
Turn your head to the opposite side, shoulders down on the floor. So remember, if you need to pad under that knee, going to the side so that it doesn't overwork your lower back, that's fine. If you want to gently turn your head, that's okay. Or you can do it as far as it feels comfortable for your neck. And keep those shoulders on the floor to keep that middle back in the twist. Take a breath. Just relax as much into that twist as your body wants. Close your eyes, just focus inward. And when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, knees again above your hips. Bring your feet to the floor if you need to straighten it out. And we're going to twist to the opposite side. So again, knees coming down, head turning, and shoulders down. Just maximize your twist as much or as little as your body wants. Take a few breaths. Just relax. And again, when you're ready to release, and of course you can hold these longer, bring your heels toward your hips, or roll onto your back, and bring the feet to the floor. And then sliding your legs out, Bring your hands near your hips, palms up. Sitting on slightly toward your heels, just relax that lower back. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, keeping that heart area nice and open. Hands, palms up at your sides, just to keep those shoulders relaxing as well. Deep breath in, exhale, just focus on relaxing your jaw, your throat, your whole spine. So lots of torso work today, just let it all loose. Remember, scan your body, find any tightness, breathe there. Exhale, let it relax. Just allow your body to soften, grow heavy. Let it sink into that surface beneath you, supported by the earth. And let your body go from your awareness. No need to think of any parts of your body. Just let them go. Now, as you release thoughts of your body, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them drift away as well. Now, as your mind begins to drift more freely, just like your breath in and out, thoughts flowing away without attention, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Allow your body to sink into the earth, your mind to float freely, and your awareness to turn inward, finding that peace within. As you fill your body with peace, and let your mind float with peace, just allow all your being to find peace. And if you can keep relaxing longer today, feel free to stay relaxed as long as you have time. 
It's time to return to the moment, to your body. Just begin drawing energy and awareness back with your breath. And begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more fully, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting those toward your heels, back pressing down. Draw those heels in toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Just give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And bringing your feet to the floor when you're ready to release, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.